Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Before this video gets started, we'll say huge thanks to Fishbrain for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you guys don't know what Fishbrain is, I'll leave it linked down below. You guys go click it, use the promo code linked down below. You get 20% off your quarterly subscription. So if you guys don't know what it is, it's an app that I use all the time to find new fishing spots. You can actually purchase gear on the website as well. Um, but one trip that I'm planning on doing is I know I have not been doing a lot of fishing content, but I'm planning on going down south, down towards Dallas to the Guggen HQ and doing a little pond hopping down there. Doing a little just classic, good old fashioned spring pond hopping. And I'm gonna be using that app to find all my spots, but that is not today's video. That's gonna be later on in this spring, but they are sponsoring today's video. So huge thanks to those guys. But if you guys are fishermen and you wanna find new spots, you wanna purchase gear, you wanna kinda like, Basically, it's like a social media network for fishermen. It's like the Facebook, but for fishing. So I'm gonna get on my phone and I'll show you guys all the spots. I mean, there's like a crazy amount of spots all around the country, all around the world. But in particular, where I'm going in Dallas, you guys will see there's just like an insane amount of spots. And I gotta pick a couple spots to hopefully go fishing on in a future video, so stay tuned. All right, so launching the Fish Brain app here. And uh, well, there you go, Lunger's TV. The clutch has been killing it lately. He's been killing it on the clutch. Anyways, so you hit this little, basically the second from the left on the bottom, and shows you actually exactly where I'm at right now, so probably should blur that. But let's go ahead and zoom out real quick. And now we're down in Kansas. Now let's go south, south, south. There's Tulsa, Oklahoma. Keep going south, where is Dallas? There's Dallas, you ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Look at all those dots. Every single one of those dots is a recorded fish catch on the site. I mean, it's like, it looks like a Christmas tree, completely lit up. So like anywhere you're going, if you guys are going on a fishing trip or even exploring local hotspots where you live, you can use the Fish Brain app to find that. So for example, let's say I'm gonna go here. Let's say I wanna go to Louisville. Louisville is a lake that we fish all the time at Guggen Squad. It's actually right down the road from Guggen HQ. So you go, okay, I'm gonna go fish Louisville. What have they been catching uh, lately? So you just, you can click on any of these things. Boom, black crappie. And looks like they've got a white bass in there too. So. I mean, there you go. Not even bass. If you're going for multi-species, Louisville might be a place to go. But I mean, like, you can click on literally any of these little, any of these dots, zoom in. Oh, what's, what do you think they're catching off this point? Boom, more white bass. If you guys know Ragley, big white bass guy, goes to Louisville all the time. So, you wanna go catch white bass? Go off that point right here, zoom in, click it, and it'll tell you what, basically what people are catching on. They even put, sometimes they put their lures that they've used, time of day, location, everything like that. Everything you guys need to know to go catch fish. Like I said, it's like the Facebook but for fishing. And you guys should go download it. It'll be linked down below. So you can get 20% off uh, your quarterly subscription uh, by using the promo code that'll be linked down below. So go check it out. They're sponsoring me today's video. So huge shout out to Fish Brain and enjoy the rest of the episode. Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to Antarctica Vlog. I don't know what number this is, but basically, it's still Antarctica out here. It is actually zero degrees right now. Like the real temperature, zero. The real feel, luckily there's no wind, is like negative eight right now. But we, uh, we've got some chores to do with the animals, and we're gonna attempt to, um, well, we might attempt to milk one of these suckers uh, today. We're not really sure, but first things first, we need to make sure everything gets fed. And as you'll see, when I make my way down here yonder into the barn, we're running a little bit low on the hay. So we're gonna end up hooking up the ducks trailer and trying to take it, go find someone that's got some hay for us load it up bring it back and uh i guess we'll probably just leave it in the trailer but the problem is the duck trailer has a flat tire so that's kind of a botch what up quacky what up guys <laughs> quacky it is cold as hell my dude you guys slept in here huh they've been sleeping in here it's a lot warmer in here than it is in the uh in the chicken coop because there's snow on the ground this they got a nice wind block you guys could have went and sat in the eight the hay pile like you guys sat on a little bit of hay but there's a there's a whole hay pile over there you guys you and tyrone could have went and sat on if you want to but they're just chilling in here but as you can tell our hay supply is running a wee bit low we've literally got like two and a half bales quacky 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 oh millie Hey, leave them alone. I was wondering why Quacky was freaking, absolutely freaking out. But as you can see, not much hay. I'm gonna grab a full bale, yeet it into the uh, into the animal enclosure so they've got food for today. And uh, then we're gonna get some hay and come back. And like I said, we're gonna try to milk them. We're also gonna try to give them their dewormer, uh, which is something I've been doing, but I don't really do it on camera. It's cause it's really not that interesting. But now that we have so many animals, it's gonna be kind of interesting. Millie, leave them alone. It's gonna be kind of interesting to see or how I guess we're gonna be able to do it with that many animals. Cause there's gonna be a lot of distractions and stuff like that. Quacky, Quacky, Quacky. You know, Bonzo's not helping. It's gonna be a little interesting because we've got a bunch of animals now to try to work around and give them their dewormer. And then we also have hoof trimmers because Bonzo is actually a nail specialist. He's given ma many, many petties. He's got like a 50% off code right now. It'll be linked down below if you guys wanna go check it out. But he's gonna attempt to trim the hooves on all the animals. And we've got a little milking stand for them um, as well for them to kind of jump up into. You guys will see a little bit later. It's gonna be pretty chaotic. But for now, we need to get a bale of hay in there and then uh try to change a tire you ever try to change a tire when it's zero degrees yeah i don't really want to but we don't really have a choice so stay tuned 
Hey, I got the hay, boys. There you go. Little hay shower. That's one way to do it, I guess. Normally, I try to chuck a little bit further, but they were all standing in the way. But they're happy. Look at them. <laughs> the sheep are loving it. Dude, the sheep eat so much, though. God, they eat so much. They'll sit here and just house this whole bale by themselves, no problem. Which is why we ran out of hay so fast. We need to go get some more. We're gonna see how many we could fit. If I was to guess, the problem is we already have straw in the duck's trailer, and I don't really wanna unload that straw. I'm hoping for 30. If we can get 30 bales, that'll last us about a month. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see how many we can fit in there. But we gotta change a tire. Everything's gonna be content now. I think their, wa their water's probably fine. I haven't had too many issues with their water staying unfrozen. Everything's good. They're all munching. We're gonna try to change the tire. Yes, sir. Sheesh. You're a NASCAR driver? You need a, need a team here? Pit crew. Hey, you know your, you know your NASCAR big terminology. NASCAR guy. You're, Bonds is a big NASCAR guy. I can say that's first, changing a tire in zero degree weather. Not the uh, most fun thing to do, but well, we'll see if it gets us there. Gotta go get some hay. Shoo! Well, we made it to where all the hay is. We've gotten hay from this guy before, so shout out to you, my guy. But we've got the trailer here, and we've got this uh, trailer full of some brome hay. It's my goat's favorite kind, so. We're gonna see how many we can fit. We're gonna make sure we keep count, and uh, See how many we can fit in the trailer and then give Buddy some money. Take them on back. We're actually going to leave them in here, which is going to be nice. We don't have to unload them this time. So, anyways, let's get this hail loaded up. Shoo! 51! 51 bales, we probably could have fit a few more, and we already had some straw in there. So I mean, this trailer could easily hold 70, 75. Oh, oh, oh don't be pinching the glove now. 70, 75, but hey, last time we, I think we grabbed 30, and that lasted us about two months, but now we have all these animals. I would guess 50 should last us, hopefully, fingers crossed, two months, at least. I mean, that's a bale a day. These animals are getting expensive out here. Anyways, we're headed back home. Shoo! Well, folks, we made it back to the farm. What up, Rick? How's it going, Felipe? Hey, we had this thought. Hey, uh, what do you, let me know what you guys think. We just got the sheep, obviously, you've seen. What do you think about moving Rick to here, since he's chill and has no nuts, and then we go get a ram, like a really badass ram with some big horns, and stick the ram with Felipe. So we've got like a buck pen, where basically like the two dudes with nuts get to chill and fight each other and just like hang out. And then we bring Rick over here, and then if we want to breed the sheep and give them, oh, John, they can't have that. It's squash, bro. Why is it right here? Because it, they can't have it. We didn't. We almost fed it to him and we didn't. What did he give them? He gave them squash and they're gonna die. Where's it at? You better go get it. Yeah, we almost fed it and then the people in the live stream were like, yo, don't. Bro, yeah. I, I figured it was later. No. Like, oh, you guys God, this one yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Okay, okay. We almost killed everything, but we're, we're good. Anyways, what do you guys think about getting a ram to breed Damn. with the ewes, the sheep? So we got three ewes, and uh, those are twins, by the way. You guys are, you guys are new to the sheep. Oh. They're twins. Which and then, two? no, those, those two. two, yeah. And, and then this guy was a bottle baby, so like its mom disowned it, basically. Gotcha. And th that one lived inside for the first few months, inside the person's house. I think they're like eight months. Eight, eight to ten months. What do you guys think? Should we get a buck, bring Rick over to the fun pen, and then leave the two bucks over there? And then the ram, if we want to breed them, it's like you just grab a sheep, or all three sheeps for that matter, yeet them over there, and then I guess, well, we have to make sure Felipe don't get them, and then we're going to have a, we'll have a jeep at that point. It'd be a goat and a sheep. Goat. You don't want a jeep. So we'd have to, we, we'll figure it out. But do you guys want to see baby lambs? Let me know. I also know it's like, I don't, it might be too late. It's getting to, it's getting to the end of breeding season. I don't think you're supposed to be breeding too much longer than this. Anyways, I'm just jibber jabbering. So what we got to do today, we've got a milking stand. Let's go. Let's go. Well, also, we're parking the, the duck's trailer here. We're going to leave it here. That way, you just unhinge it, drop it, you grab your bale, yeet it, put it back. And I'm also going to get a hay feeder because I know you guys are looking at this like, Flair, you guys are wasting so much hay. Like, there's literally half a bale just laying on the ground, not really probably going to get eaten. I'm working on it, okay? I found somebody who's going to build one. I would build one myself, but I don't have a place to build it. My garage is full of tools uh, from the contractor. They're still remodeling my house. Um, I guess we could build it in here, but it's also, you know, one degree. So I literally need to put a jacket on. I'm about to freeze. But anyways, this is the milking stand. So I bought this off uh, Facebook Marketplace. Basically, they jump up, you put their feet in here, you shut this, and you need to get like a rope or some type of bungee cord. It pinches their head in there. Doesn't hurt them, just holds them there. They sit there and munch, 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 and you put the little bucket here and 
don't know how's an odd gesture, but you guys get the point. You, you milk them, you grab the nipples, you squeeze and pull. Easy stuff. Never done it before. You've never done it. Uh, I've never even know. seen it done in person. I haven't either. I've done it. No, you haven't. I've milked goats. What? Yeah. Since when have you milked a goat? All right, so this is Bonds, and we're letting him do the whole thing then. He's the one that can get kicked. You're supposed to like kind of like tie their legs off a little bit so they don't they don't kick you, but is there anyone at home? Cracky. <laughs> Where's Tom? You see? Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Woo. Thought everybody died. Anywho, so I say first things first, move this in there. And I also have, I, ha I kind of have a strategy. We need to grab a fit fence panel because what's gonna happen is the second you put feet in there, stampede, gonna be a bad deal. So I've thought of an area that you could put it where we could put that thing. And if we can get a fence, not that one, we'll probably need it, might need a longer one than that, Bonzo. I think there's a, there's a 16 footer laying around here somewhere. And we're gonna have to make this little enclosure and do kind of one at a time. And like I said before, we're also gonna try to give them their dewormer, some minerals, stuff like that. All the fun stuff that you gotta give to livestock so they don't die. Let's get this, uh, let's get the milking stand put in and see if we can get a little, little milking area set up. You stay tuned. Where they can't jump off. Basically, their head's gonna go in here and shut it. Like that. Yep, and then you just push this board and just try to tighten it a little bit. Yeah, a bungee cord would be ideal, but we kind of changed plans. We were originally gonna go in there. Here's the problem. The second we get the grain out, all hell's gonna break loose. So I'm thinking, get each animal out one by one. Hope they don't run away. That way we can kind of, we'll start with Karen. Karen has horns, so you can kind of manhandle her a little bit. She's pretty tame. She knows where to go. She ain't gonna run away, basically. So we're gonna try her, but what we have here, foot shears. This is to cut basically the hooves. So that'll be interesting. That's a bonzo thing. Then we've got dewormer, which this says feed one pound per 100 pounds of body weight as a single feeding. Repeat the above treatment within three to four weeks for broader worm removal and control. I mean, I would just give it a little little dosage. I don't think it'll be, I don't think it'll be the end of it. this is? And then this is some mineral. This is for multi-species. We have sheep and goats, so we can give it to both. But the dewormer is only for the goats. But if we want to give these to the sheep, we can. So this one says one and a half to two pounds per head per month. So basically, you give them one and a half to two pounds each of this stuff. That's a lot, I feel like. That's way too much to consume in one time, right? There's no way that one of these goats is just going to pound two pounds of this. I feel like you're supposed to just give it to them like gradual, like, you know, like every day type thing. Like you just kind of like give them oh, a little bit. Yeah. I don't think it's like a here, eat this whole thing. You know what I mean? There's no way they eat two pounds. Put out fresh weekly near the water supply. Yeah, you're supposed to just like give an unlimited amount, which is fine. The problem is how do you know how much one eat, ate and one how much one didn't eat? Because I know mineral, the thing about minerals is like, you're, it's supposed to be just kind of like open, like, you know, first come first serve type thing. So, I mean, we could always, I mean, we could we could give them a little bit today yeah. with our cocktail, but then maybe we just need to start just leaving it. We just got to make sure that, I mean, it says that it's good for lactating and non-lactating cattle, sheep, and goats. Didn't say anything about donkeys, but donkeys seem to be pretty chill on everything. But that's just the problem. You know, what if donkeys allergic and die? Not a good idea. One of the biggest problems with having all the animals in one spot is this. Ma maintaining them and making sure everything has proper nutrition is really hard when there's so many animals. I love having them together because it's really fun to watch them kind of interact, but it's hard to make sure they got everything. Thing. So I would say today we're just gonna make a little cocktail for them, a little bit of minerals, and then I also have a block, uh, like a mineral block for sheep and goats. So we can we can maybe set that out instead of this. So that'd basically be the same the same thing, and then some grain too. So honestly, let's just let's just wing this. I think we'll be all right. I'm not. I'm, grab some of this. I'm not too worried about. It. Yeah, you, you give a yeah you give a little bit of that in here. Throw that in there. Yeah, sure. Why not? We just give them one of these. You just mix it all up and yeah. then throw some, you want to grab that bag of grain? Yeah, a lot of you farmers are probably cringing, but I don't know what I'm doing. Let me know if you guys have a better system. Let me know. I mean, I figured this would be the only way to get them one-on-one. -on -one. At least all the goats will eat a little bit, bit of dewormer, eat a little bit of grain, some minerals. They'll be all right. And we'll make sure they don't eat all of this, obviously. This would be a little bit much. We'll let them munch on it while we're working them. See what happens. We start with Karen. Okay, so Karen, all we gotta do is let her eat a little bit and uh, try to trim her hoof. She's got a dangler, you'll see it. It's a little dangle stick on her on her hoof that she's had for a while now, so we gotta take care of that. Honest, yeah, honestly, you're just gonna have to, uh, you're just gonna have to get in there with them and then I'll try to wrangle Karen, maybe. Go, she, ah! Damn, no! Go, 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 go. All right, Karen's out. Karen, 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 don't run from me, Karen. Dang it, dang it, no, oh, come here, Karen! Here. There you go. Old gym place. Woo! She was heavy. Alright. Oh god. Hey, hey, Karen. 
You're gonna have to hold it for me. It's just this outside stuff right here. This one's not bad. So it's like soft and spongy. Mm -hmm. So you cut it down to that. What you do is you scrape it out, figure out kind of where it ends. It's kind of hard to tell how far to cut out right there. Yeah. Just want to clean it out. Yeah. yeah. See, that's kind of like a dog. A little bit. Bear with me, boys. This is my first time here. We're, we're going to make it better than it was. It won't be any worse. Might not be perfect, but it ain't going to be any worse. Don't look too bad. See, there's white. It's kind of tough because there's white stuff right there. I don't know if you're supposed to cut that or not. I think you can. It's just the pad you can't cut. Yeah, because you want it. You kind of want these to be flush. Flat. flat. Fl yeah, flush with the bottom. Uh, yep. Dang. Oh, yeah. This is not a good one here. Look at that. That's not what you want. That's bad. Cut that all off. Here you go, Karen. Well done, Karen. You did great. You were first, great first contestant. All right, come on. Let's go, girl. Cut. There you go. Oh. Go. go, Karen. You want Dale next or not? Yeah, let's get Dale. Okay. Come on, Dale. Right up here. Good boy. Go. Hey, right here. There you go. There you go. You got a beefcake. Dale, Dale. Hey. I just don't want you to get kicked in the face. <laughs> Dale, Dale, no, his head's gonna go. Oh, his head's out. Dale, Dale, Dale. I'm gonna get kicked. All right, you're gonna have to hold him. It's all right, Dale, Dale, Dale. Oh, oh my God, Dale. Dale's a beefcake. He's a beef. I'm gonna push it that way more. We don't, he don't, he don't, he, Dale's not a thing. Oh my watch, god. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Alright. Well, Dale, we're gonna let you out, buddy. Yours don't look, yours don't look too bad. You're alright, Bubba. Yeah. It's okay. Alright, you wanna go back in your pen? Did you eat enough? Let's go, Chungus. Go back in. Don't you turn. Go. Go, 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 go. I'm up Millie. Millie's in the pen. She's on uh, babysitting duty. Entertain the animals. We're gonna try to get Rick. Rick's the biggest beefcake. You think Dale's a beefcake? No. Rick. He just shook like a dog, did he not? He definitely just shook like a dog. <laughs> what do I keep saying? He's a dog? Anyways, see if we can get Rick out here, trim his hooves. Look how much bigger he is. God, he's huge. Look, look at compared to the donkeys, bro. He's taller than the donkeys. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh God. He don't even fit, bro. He don't even fit. All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bro, he, to, he don't even fit. He's a bigger, bigger milking stand. Oh, no. hey, Rick. Here, at least we can at least give him the food. But there you go. There you go. Can you eat? You need a little step still, don't you, buddy? All right, we'll let him get his food in. He can eat. We'll let him eat all the dewormer minerals he needs. You ever seen a grown man get his ass kicked by a goat? Just did. Well, now has come the time, folks, okay? We're gonna attempt to milk a goat for the first time. I've never done it, Bonds apparently has. We're also not 100% positive this goat's got any milk. We've seen the kids suck on our nipples a couple times, but not often, it's not like it's every day or anything like that, at least we don't see it. So it could be, she could be dry, but or, she, or she could be flowing like Bill Owen, but we'll find out, I guess. You ever had goat's milk? Yeah. Straight Yeah. from the nipple. Not like I didn't drink it from the nipple. I refrigerated and made it cold. We'll try it. it we'll see, good we'll, we'll attempt to go straight from the nipple. But we gotta also we, have, we have, first we have to attempt to get her out by herself. She's gonna be freaking out because her kids won't be with her. <sighs> Wish us luck. Come on, Dale. Dale, no. Okay, I got her. Oh, she knows the drill. I forgot she's been milked before. She knows the drill. Because he used to milk her, the old owner. Oh, really? Oh, right, she went right in. Here we go. Really? Back up. We gotta clean the nipples. Okay, hang on, let me clean the titties first. I've never seen someone struggle so much in my life with such a simple task. Oh, this is odd. This is odd. She only have two? Yeah. I thought goats had four. I thought or is that a cow? This is a very odd sensation going on right now. Let's see if I can get some out. Oh, God! Oh. I did it! Okay, okay. All right. Oh yeah. Oh God, Olga, this is not clean bucket. <laughs> why, why is it so dirty? I just got it from the kitchen. No, 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 no. We need to get something else. You need another bucket. Hang on. Okay, we got, we, got, we got coffee cup. It'll be a little coffee milk, like a Frappuccino or something. You got this? Yep. Oh, 
Oh god, this is weird. Oh god. She's got quite a bit. You gonna try to drink it? From the titty? Yeah. <laughs> you try. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! Dude! <laughs> Here, I'll drink some. Give me some. Give me some. <laughs> 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 Bro, that tastes good. No, it doesn't. No. Try okay, it. here. Let's, let's fill this up. Let's fill this up. Dude, this is dope. Dude, she's definitely been milked before because she's. This ain't bad. She's chill. Oh, yeah, I got a good PSI on that one. You want, you want to try milking her? Sure. You gotta squeeze from up top, way up top. You go up here? Yep, like way up there. You'll feel the yeah, pressure yeah. build in the bottom of the nipple. How's it going? Can we yeah. try it again? No, I'm good. it going? Yeah, this, one's, this one has more. Feels like. Yeah, so you, I feel like I just kind of went back and forth. She's definitely running low. A little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Not definitely has some goat hair in there. Do you see how much hair is in there? I think we were, we're good. Look at that. There's like a hole. I don't know how much. Not much. I don't have a sifter, I don't think, because there's a lot of hair in there, bro. You did great. You did so good. Buttercup. Good job, bud. Oh, yeet. She wants to go back to her kids. Wow. Merc, bro. <laughs> At least I hit you in the face. True. I go to Merc. You nailed vines <laughs> off the face. <laughs> did I still got my beard? I, 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 I hit John right here. I had no idea. Like, when I grabbed, I thought I was really just going to, like, drip. I didn't do, like, we could probably shoot that 10 feet. I Trevor, what, 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 the, what do you think the world record is? I feel like we could definitely break the world record. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Millie. Millie. Let Buttercup in. There we go. Before we go give it the old taste test, even though Bonzo already did. A little premature taste test, you That's know? warm. That's, that was weird, bro. I don't know how I feel about that. I see, you're supposed to shave their udder, though. Oh. That's so they don't get hair in there. Um, oh, okay. That, maybe that's the next video or something, but. <laughs> I, I, for some reason, I enjoyed that. I don't know why, like, something is satisfying about, like, being able to get it out. Because it's not just, you don't just tug on it. Like, yeah. you have to, like, get kind of up in the udder and kind of push it down to the teat and then you have to use your other finger to squeeze the tea. It's like, it's actually kind of an odd, an odd system there. But I don't know how long she's gonna be given milk, but I definitely think we should try it again. She seemed to enjoy it, honestly. She ate a bunch of the grain, the deworm and the minerals, all that fun stuff. But before we do that, we need to, well, we've got a mineral block I'm gonna throw in there for them. We're gonna, we gotta give them some feed. They have plenty of hay, give them some feed and uh, tend to the chickens and the ducks and then go inside and see if we can get a strainer, hopefully. Fingers crossed, otherwise it's gonna be a hairy, a hairy sip of milk. Spilled a little bit, sorry. Good enough. That extra feeder helps a lot. Yeah. And they still fight, and they still fight. I don't get it. Karen, don't hit the babies. Dale, how does it feel to have a fresh Manny Petty? You too, Karen. You're such a good little dog. You're just the cutest little dog. Anyways, folks, how's it going? We got everything fed. Everything milked that can be milked. We haven't named the donkeys. You guys know the drill. I usually get animals three months later, name them, because I just procrastinate like that. So Bonzo's gonna pull up the video where I got the donkeys, where you guys commented some names down below, and we're gonna pick a couple. We've got two, we got the spotted one, and then the dark, kind of a darker brown one. What do we, what do we got, Bonzo? What do we, what do we, what are we milking with here? A lot of people said it, donkey. It's not very creative, folks. Come on! Donkey? It's not that original. I get it. I understand it. I get the whole Shrek. I get it. But come on. You gotta be a little bit more original than that. What'd you find? Tiffany. You like Tiffany? Tiffany's not Kay. bad. Felicia? You like Felicia? Felicia? Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. That's fine. Is that you? Bye, Felicia. All right, I say, we, I say we roll with it. Felicia and Tiffany. Why not? Tiffany there. And we got Bye, Felicia. Right here. You know why? Because she always kicks the other animals and is like, Bye, Felicia. You know what I'm saying? Like when she's trying to eat that grain. Meet Felicia and Tiffany. They're just chilling. And Millie, she's wandering around. Anyways, well, we got them named. Oh, we need to go tend to the animals. Tom, dude, Tom's plumed out. I'm, I'm pissed Hookin's not here. Oh. I love when it when it fights Hookin. Like it just squares up on Hookin. Maybe Bonds will have to do for the day. Shoo! Chunk his bag right here, boys. There we go. They're gonna love me. Get some protein in, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. There we go, chickens. You guys haven't had me over in a couple weeks. <laughs> Quacky! Don't think I don't think I forgot about you, buddy. We got some quacky snacks. He He's looking at him. Oh there he goes. Uh-oh. Now now it's all over. We better, we better give these guys some water. We're running a little bit low. Quacky will come over to a fresh bowl of water. Uh, use the rest to fill up the chicken water. And we're good. 
here we go, folks. Hairy milk. Bonzo, you ever stuck hairy milk in your mouth? No. Me neither. We uh, we attempted to use a pot, which we need to go get that. That was one of our nice ones. But we've got, see, we, we came up with a system here. We've got coffee filter and we've got a little strainer. So I think this, this should take care of the hair situation. Just like that. Rip. Why is it not going through there? What's going on here? Oh, it's, is it slowly doing it? Or no? No. No. Uh, why don't we just give it one of these? Let's use the normal. Let's see. See that? That's a. It must be some thick milk. There you oh, go. Oh God. Love that sound. It don't look bad. Maybe maybe one more round of that. That's what we got. All that nipple grabbing, and this is all that came out. So we've got some shot glasses here. Okay. We're, we got to try to divide this into thirds. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but. This guy, everybody gets a dribble, I guess. Yeah. Does that look about even? About as even as even gets. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, see, this one even has a fish there. on it, and this one's for uh, me. Or no, I'll go oh, That's that yours? That's yours. That's gonna be mine, it's sparkly. You never drink warm milk to go I mean, to bed? I did, just down there. That's what I'm saying, straight to the mouth. Okay, cheers, boys, to, to more goat milking adventures. That was pretty it's, good. It's sweet. It, it tastes like co Casey's coffee. Bro, it, ah, it, it, it did not. It did not. I, don't, I don't honestly think it tastes I like taste coffee. I tasted sweet milk. I tasted sweet milk too. I, I would not agree with no. it. It, it, did not it was just sweet. It tasted like coffee creamer to it, me. That's, that's what, what I was going to say. It, was. it tastes like coffee it creamer. It's that's a little bit thick. Yeah. Coffee creamer. Finn, what do you think? Why do you look like that? Can someone explain why you look like a rat? You getting your stretches in or what, buddy? Where's your friend Millie? Yeah, but you you gotta get shaved, so you don't you don't look as cute as you did. But it's okay, it's okay. She didn't hear that. Anyways, well, there, I I mean I like it. T Tbh, I want more of it. So we need to we need to get like a pump, a milk pump. Know what I mean? Yeah. It had a little aftertaste. Tastes like goat, a little bit. Not bad though. I it did have a little bit of coffee hair. That's what I. But I would agree. I would consider it to be, or I would I would say it's the closest thing to coffee creamer, yeah. or like half and half. Basically, super thick, rich, but it was sweet. It didn't taste weird. Like there's some people that say like, oh, I can't drink goat's milk. I could chug a freaking gallon of that by myself, especially if it was cold. But we got it. We got to do some more milk. And I don't know if she's just got a little bit left, or if I suck at squeezing the nipple, or if we need to get a little machine. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Should we get a pump, or is it like she's kind of weaning off the the little kids? and there's not really much left in there. But it really makes me want to get goats pregnant by other goats and have them have babies so we can actually milk them. Like, I feel like we should definitely do this again and get some more milking goats and actually like milk a bunch so we can like drink it. I, I thought it was good, honestly. Yeah. I, I really thought it was good. It was way better, especially with the hair. The hair dangling, I thought it was gonna taste like straight cheeks. It actually didn't taste bad. There was a hint of coffee, okay? Maybe that's a strat. You guys are milking goats, okay? Use an old coffee cup, and you get, then it just tastes like coffee. If that's what you guys want it to taste like. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thought, again, thought it was pretty good. It does have a goat aftertaste. I don't know if you guys are getting that. It tastes like I'm licking Karen right now. I taste the hair. It tastes I like goat. Taste the hair. You don't? Not no. really, not really. Man. I just taste milk. I, just got, I, I definitely just have an aftertaste right now. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.